Who is Jason's real father? For years, we have always known Jason's biological father to have been Elias Voorhees. But with the release of Friday the 13th the game, he could be someone else. When collecting the Pamela tapes, Pamela tells the interviewing police officers that while she was married to Elias and took his name along with giving it to Jason, Elias was not Jason's true father. So what does this mean? And who is Jason's real father? While examining the tapes and looking far deeper into it than one probably should, I have come up with my own theory. What if Jason's true father was actually Roy Burns, the killer from Friday the 13th Part 5, A New Beginning? Sound crazy? But is it really? My belief is that Roy raped Pamela and she gave birth to Jason as a result. Pamela and Jason then kept to themselves for years while Roy went about his life, never thinking anything of that night with her. Then during the summer of 1957 at Camp Crystal Lake, Jason is thought to have drowned. While the police conduct a search, nothing is ever found and it is quickly forgotten. During the events of 1, 2, 3, and Part 4, News of Jason's existence becomes public knowledge, especially after his death. Roy, at this point having a family of his own, presumably Joey's mother along with Joey himself, begins to see the articles about Jason and becomes increasingly curious. He even traces his background back to his mother, Pamela. Upon doing further research and possibly seeing a picture of Pamela, possibly through a newspaper clipping similar to that of Jason's, he realizes that she was the woman he raped years earlier. He also comes to realize that he may be Jason's true father. All of this is a shock to Roy, and he begins to become distant. He eventually picks up and leaves, feeling that something needs to be done about the death of Jason, whom at this point he truly believes to be his son, and decides to take matters into his own hands. This results in Joey being abandoned after the death of his mother and going from home to home until he and Tommy are inadvertently placed in the same facility. At this point, Roy, who was keeping track of Joey's whereabouts so once his job was done he could be reunited with him, doesn't realize that Joey is in the very same place he plans to target. On a call to pick up a body from the Pinehurst facility, Roy is shocked to see the victim is actually Joey. Not buying the fact that it was another patient there named Vic who murdered Joey, Roy instead blames Tommy who has just arrived that day along with everybody else there collectively. At this point, we get another bit of evidence when Roy looks into the camera with a pretty sinister look in his eyes that may have been referenced by Pamela during her talking about Jason's father's eyes during her rape. Then, the events of part 5 unfold, with Roy convincingly mimicking Jason in almost every way, only to meet his fate by the very same person that killed Jason. Is this too far-fetched or is it a good theory? Did I leave out any evidence that could suggest Roy being Jason's father or is there evidence against this? Please comment below and let me know. And if you want to hear more of my theories of Friday the 13th, in other TV shows and movies, be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.